reward of having this starter team. Make it a beast team. We'd obviously get yourself on the description below. Get yourself to use 7 buy. Get yourself some cheap, reliable coins. And don't forget to use King with a cheeky 5% off. Right, let's get into the video. Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here and welcome to another Team of the Year SBC video. Today we have an honourable mention, Seko Fafana. Uh, this card we've been waiting for a while. I originally thought it was going to be ejected, but it isn't. So we got an 88 rated centre mid here with 84 pace, 78 shot, 82 passing, 86 dribbling, 84 defence and 91 physicality. 6 foot 1, high high work rates, right footed, 4 star, 4 star. Can play DM as well. In-game stats aren't as good as I thought they would be. There's a few that I thought would be a little bit higher, but we'll talk about them in a minute. In a minute. 84 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, 82 attack position, 75 finishing, 87 shot power, 83 long shot, 72 volleys, 59 pens, 86 vision, 68 crossing and free kick accuracy, 89 short passing, 84 long passing. Not the greatest, but still. Uh, 79 curve, 74 agility, 72 balance. Now that's pretty poor. I thought it would be about 80. That's quite a drop. For a midfielder, it's quite low. Um, you expect them type of stats for a centre back. Mm. Uh, 88 reactions, 89 ball control, 87 dribbling, 88 composure. Again, they're okay, but they're not amazing. I thought they'd be in the 90s. Uh, 89 interceptions, 82 head and accuracy, 90 stand tackle with 80 slide. Again, slide tackle's on a bit of a low. Good stand tackle, but, you know, 70 head and accuracy, 74 jumping. She's not going to jump for anything. 97 stam, 93 strength and 95 aggression. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it does have the leadership trait as well. So... It's not a bad card, but for the price of the, what they've decided to do, I don't understand where they've got this price from, considering how cheap we've had most SBCs. Um, free SBC segments uh, for this SBC, but yeah. Um, before we get into it, just to let you know, these are footbin bite now priced at the time of this SBC, which of course have been out for an hour. Bids and snaps will always be cheaper, and don't forget prices do fluctuate, uh, especially as this is out for two weeks. So, requirement for the League Un SBC, you need one League Un player. Schmeichel is one of the cheapest 83s. I've got Fabian in there as well, you can use him, but all 83s are roughly around the same. Team Reference 83, most of you will know 983 is 282, so is the cheapest way to get yourself an 83 with 11 players in squad. Um, so at the moment, your 83s are looking at 1.2k each. So Schmeichel's one of your French League players. Then you've got Pereira, Romero, Jimenez, Hoiberg, Fabian, again another French League player. Firmino, Neves and Torres, uh, they're all 1.2k each. And uh, at the time when I did this, they were, 82s were 900 coins and now I've gone up to 950. So Jimenez and Onana, what's my name, uh, were 900, they're now 950. Um, so at the point in time doing this SBC, you're looking at 12.7k. Now, normally an 83 rated isn't even above 10k, so this is quite expensive. Um, low rated fighter is expensive because obviously the draft up SBC and everything else that's in. Small electron players pack, 7.5k pack, nothing fancy there. Uh, top form requirements is an 84 rated team with a team of the week. 85 rated team of the weeks are the best to go for if you don't have an untradeable one. Um, if you do, then throw in an untradeable 84, 83, or an 82. Um, then it's. Uh, with the 85 in form, it's 684s, 383s, and an 82 is the cheapest way. If you have an in form 84 or an in form 83 on tradable, you know it's 984s, 283s. Um, but Romero is the cheapest team of the week card at the moment at 15k. Um, there's quite a few around 15k, which isn't too bad. Um, then your 84s are 4.6k now. They're nearly back up to the price when people started before Team of the Year, which is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, 4.6k each now. Pellegrini, Chiellini, Indeedly Doodly, Hazard, Aparty, Osdrabal, uh, they're all 4.6k each. Uh, your, your 83s are 1.2. Simon, Romero, and Navas, three of your cheapest 83s, and Kondogbia is 950 coins. So again, this is normally like a four, under 40, 40k, normally around 40, under 40k. Um, 47.15. Ugh. Yeah, uh, this is nearly 50k again for an 84 rated team, which is actually crazy. So yeah, 47.15k. Uh, you do get a mixed players pack, which is a 10k pack. Uh, the 85 rated squad, most of you... I, I said this would nearly hit 100k. And we are on 100k. Uh, this is nearly 100k. Literally just under. I said the 85 rated squads would get to that, and it's actually ridiculous how much they are. Um, most of you will know the cheapest way to do it is 287s, 984s. Doesn't really matter if you try and use 86s and 85s, they're through the roof anyhow. Yeah, most 85s are extinct. Um, so you got Robbo and De Gea, 29k each. <laughs> 29k each. 
Um, and then you've got Chiellini, De Frey, Trippier, Partey, Tielemans, Hazard, Nindili Doodley, Osdorbal and Perisic. Nine of the cheapest 84s at 4.6k each. Mm. So this is just under 100k as I was saying. 99.4k to do. Uh, Prime X Players Pack is a 20k pack. So as I was saying... This card is not worth it, unfortunately. I don't understand where they're getting 159k from. Why is this 160k? I do not know. This should be 80 to 100k. French tax, maybe? Considering what we've had coming out, how is this more expensive than Jorginho? Or Jorginho? It depends on what you want. Jorginho is actually a better card, I think. In my opinion, overall than this card. The only difference between this card that's a massive boost is got a bit quite a bit more pace, but actually no it doesn't. No. 87 acceleration for Jorginho. I don't understand strength. I, I just don't I'm confused why this is so much more expensive. Like Jorginho's about 150, if I remember right. Yeah, 140, 150. Why is this 160k? Please someone tell me in the comments below why this is 160k, because I don't think this is worth it whatsoever. I know most of you will have fodder, but that's not too bad. But hopefully I saved you some time and some money. Hopefully the info did help. Feel free to drop a thumbs up. Of course, it does help the channel and video. Uh, obviously, if you want to see more SBC videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got that notification bell on so you can keep up to date as soon as I upload these. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Take it easy, obviously. Peace.